Oh my God. Why? Buhari, why? Why are you killing the youth of Nigeria? Why? Buhari, why? Why are you doing this to us? We vote for you for you to serve us. We vote for you for you to lead us to a great place. We vote for you for you to lead us. We vote for you for you to take us to another level. We do not vote for you for us to become your slave. We do not vote for you for us to become your workers. Why? Why, Buari? Why do you want to kill Nigerians? Why do you want to aid Nigerians? <sighs> My God. Police brutality got to be stopped. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. I saw this video. This morning, I could not understand. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I haven't thought this. What patience? This is not a cry. And sorry now. And police brutality. My husband and I chased down my sorry, thinking he's a criminal in the elderly world. Threats and bullying and telling sorry affairs. Hidden sorrows in the air. Being honest and real to people is not a crime. Stop spoiling the trust in the Nigerian youth. The next generation is great. The world is watching and we are supporting you. And SARS now. And police brutality now. And bad government now. Enough is enough. Listen on Nigeria. I don't need to be afraid. Listen to the truth and the love. Stop being racist. Dividing an expensive crowd is not a crime. Too many innocent lives. And SARS now. And with this brutality now. Being awake and open minded is not a crime. We have so many resources that are wasted. And sir, and police brutality, enough is enough. Being honest and real to people isn't a crime. Stop messing with the trust, playing with the youth is aware of and SARS now. But we're not going to stop this protest. We're going to keep fighting to stop this brutality. I was in that SARS. Try. Because dressing well isn't a crime. And the securities are turning into enemies. Stop killing our friends and family over there. My condolences to all the people that have died. Answers <laughs> now. I beg. Answers now. We don't tire. Answers. Enough is enough. <laughs> Okay. Did you hear that? If you have a dreadlock in Nigeria, you are a criminal. If you have a smartphone, you are a criminal. 
if you have third bread, you are a criminal. If you have laptop, you are a criminal. If you carry long hair, you are a criminal. This is getting out of hand. Thank you. Did you guys hear that? This is getting out of hand. For Nigeria, I know I'm not there, but people are suffering, people are dying. I'm just scared that Nigeria is not going to become like Libya. This is too much. The America should help us. Americans, Nigeria need your help. I'm crying because this is too much. When I saw this video this morning, I could not be able to withstand it. I decided to make a video. This is too much. This is too much. This is getting out of hand. This is too much. This is too much. People are dying like a fowl. People are dying like a cricket. Look at the way the armies are killing our youth. Thank you so much for watching.